Number 5. Frost Flowers Can you imagine seeing blooming flowers in the middle of the Arctic Ocean in the dead of winter? Well, check this out. These aren't flowers per se, not really flora, but they do contain actual life, believe it or not. These so-called frost flowers were studied by scientists from the University of Washington who discovered that the fragile ice structures popping out of the water are home to microbes that survive in some of the coldest temperatures on Earth. They used the flowers to protect them from the harsh cold, kind of like frogs that hibernate under thick layers of ice in ponds or fish that could actually live frozen in ice during the winter. It seems that the research the scientists are conducting could eventually bring answers to question as to how life was formed on Earth and open the debate as to the possible existence of extraterrestrial life. In doing their research, the scientists managed to recreate the frost flowers in freezers to learn more about how these structures form and interact with the environment. Frost flowers also appear in the Southern Ocean around Antarctica, but they're still a great mystery as far as their chemical, biological, and physical nature. Number 4. Snowdados I'm pretty sure you've heard of Sharknado, that series of guilty pleasure B-movies about a tornado made up of sharks. Although one actually happening is more than highly unlikely, almost as rare as Snowdados, or Snow Devils as they're also called. Although tornadoes aren't as rare as we'd think during snow season, a snownado is such a rare phenomenon that only six have ever been photographed, and four of the photos came from Ontario, Canada. Snowdados are just really uncommon because they need specific meteorological conditions to form, including a colder air mass passing over a relatively warmer surface, heated by sunlight, and a low-level wind shear or colliding air currents, which makes the rising air spin. The warmer surface will cause the snow or ice to form fog or steam, and if a column of colder, low-pressure air comes above the fog, it'll start rising, and eventually, you'll get a funnel shape that looks like a tornado. But even if snownadoes are spectacular and impressive, they're nowhere near as dangerous as tornadoes. But because they're so rare, we know very little about them from a scientific standpoint. Number 3. Brinicle We've all seen icicles, but not many of us have had the privilege of spotting a brinicle live. See, a brinicle is the equivalent of an underwater icicle that forms below sea ice when a flow of very cold saline water meets an area of ocean water. They were first discovered in the 1960s. Doesn't that look amazing? Number 2. Upward Lightning Although it's a really rare occurrence, upward lightning is pretty much self-explanatory. Instead of lightning that comes down, it's lightning that goes up. It's such a fascinating phenomenon that a few researchers have started studying it in the past few years, including scientists at Florida Institute of Technology who published a study in Nature Communications, and Tom A. Warner and his colleagues who've been filming lightning on high-speed cameras and who managed to catch 41 upward lightning flashes among the 776 lightning occurrences they've captured. Captured. According to experts, upward lightning primarily happens when there's a positive cloud to ground lightning bolt nearby, and the electric field change caused by that flash will bring an upward positive leader to come out of a tall object, you know, like a building, a tower, or even a wind turbine. Number 1. Raining Fish our most unbelievable weather phenomenon is fish falling from the sky. Yes, sometimes it really does rain fish. It seems the oldest reports of fish raining from the sky date back to over 200 BC in Greece. And according to specialists, including the Weather Channel severe weather expert Dr. Greg Forbes, tornadoes and water spouts actually do provoke rainfalls of fish and other small animals. Did you see the movie Magnolia? Well, in that film, frogs rain from the sky, and it seems that the writer of the script wasn't on drugs when he wrote that scene. On the morning of June 28, 1957, at Magnolia Terminal near Thomasville, Alabama, thousands of small fish, frogs, and crayfish fell from the sky. Some think that this phenomenon can be explained by embryos and baby tadpoles being drawn up into the sky in the condensation process and growing in the clouds before falling back to Earth. Well, if you have trouble believing that, on February 11, 2013, near Lynn Haven, Florida, it was reported that crabs fell from the sky. Crabs. Crazy. 